Hello, good morning, I'm Mike from Scoutdelic and welcome to Scouting at Home. Whether you're a scout or not, these are a series of challenges that you can do at home. Now, it is Monday, which means that it is Mindful Monday. And if you're anything like myself, you do need to do some exercise, whether you're allowed outside and go for a walk or a run, or alternatively, do a Joe what a Wix uh, YouTube um, video. I'm a little obsessed. Um, so I am obviously going to use one of his, which is very basic and very easy to do. So whether you can do a, a big exercise or not, we're going to do 10 minutes. Um, what you will need is you'll need a chair and you will need a, two tins. They can be any tins. If they have mini sausages in them, well, you know, <laughs> that's what I've gone with. <laughs> Hard call. Um, right, so it's very simple. I'm going to do it with you. Okay, so the first one is you're going to be uh, standing up and you want to obviously keep your body and then go from one side to the other. So keep straight and you're just moving your upper part of your body. Okay, so I'm just going to move this slightly up if I can whilst it's there. Yeah, that's better, yeah. So that's all we're gonna be doing. Okay, so we're gonna do 40 seconds on and then 20 seconds rest. We're gonna do this for 10 minutes, so you can join in with me. Might as well. What else have you got to do? Hmm? Right, okay. I had to download an app just to do this, because I usually use Joe. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna starting in five seconds. Three, two, one. So it is simple. Just, just that, okay? So keep your lower body obviously stationary. It's just your upper body that you should be doing, okay? I am not a professional, may I point out, nor can I do this for other people. <laughs> I just uh, do a lot of Joe Wicks <laughs> and usually go to the gym. About it really. Okay, so we've got about seven more seconds to go. Okay, there we are. So this is your 20 seconds rest. So the next ones that we're going to do is arm rotations. So we're going to do 20 arm rotations forward and then 20 back. Okay, so I'm going to possibly stand like this. You can obviously see. So we've got five more seconds. Ready? So 20 forward. Really stretch those arms up. Okay. Yeah. Ten more seconds of going forward. Don't forget to breathe and have water. And then we're going to go backwards. Okay. Big circles with your arms if you can. So, your next one does involve the chair. It's a very simple and easy one, okay? So you're gonna sit down and then stand up with your arms, obviously, outwards. So down and then up, clenching your butt cheeks. Okay, here we go. Down and up. So your feet really want to stay exactly where they are. All right. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I can usually do harder ones than these. Okay. So we've got about 15 seconds left to go. Try not to walk backwards. So arms are stretched. That's it. If you hear some clicking, it is probably me. <laughs> Okay, so the next one you're going to need is your tins. What you're going to do, is sitting down, you're going to go from the side. So you want to have the tins at the side of you. You're going to flex up and then push up and down again. Okay, so by the side of you, 
flex up, push up, and down. That's what we're going to do. If you want to use heavier tins, like pineapples, more than welcome to. Okay. Just another 15 seconds to go. Remember, I am not a professional. You're watching an idiot who has a scouting YouTube channel doing exercise. That's what you're doing with your day. Okay, there we go. Right. And last but not least is simple. You're going to march on the spot and you're going to touch your ego. So you're going to get your leg up, leg up. And you want to keep firm and have this leg over here, like this, just like that, yep, you can touch the elbow, and you're doing it good, if you can't, then don't worry, do as much as you can, okay, it's more about getting your body active than anything else, right, 15 more seconds of this, and then we repeat, So that's the first set done, okay? And then we obviously do it again. <laughs> I'm out of breath and I don't know why. Right, okay. Okay. So we've got another, say about five more seconds. All right, so let's start this again. And if you remember, we're doing the twist with our arms again, okay? So, again. Please don't do an injury. All right, because you can't sue me. Well, you possibly can, but I'm sure I disclaim that I'm not a professional. Okay. If you're sat on the sofa watching this, shame on you. If you're eating a chocolate bar, well, that's what I did. I ate an entire Chocolate Easter egg. Okay. Hey, I gave it up for Lent, so 40 days of no chocolate. I just had the whole, you know. Lovely. Lovely. Right, okay. The next one is your arm rotations, okay? Do you remember? Go forward first. So, forward. Okay. Stretch as best as you possibly can. Okay. And then forwards. Five more seconds of this. There we are. Okay, so the next one is obviously sitting out. So arms out, sitting down, and standing up again. Okay, almost like a squat, except there's a chair there. I could do squats now. <laughs> there was a time I couldn't. There right. we go. All right, you ready? And down. And. It's just a little exercise every day. I don't know. It helps me anyway. Hopefully it can help you. If you're not doing this, I'd like to know what do you do? Who do you follow? Do you do yoga? Any sort of exercise. Do you go out for a walk every day? What exercise do you do? Okay, there we go. Okay, so the next one is obviously back to the tin. If you do have obviously dumbbells, then yeah, sure, do that. Otherwise, that was a good catch up on camera as well. Um, so remember, it's your 
bicep, and then up. Okay, ready? Here we go. Bicep, up, down, and up, down. There we go. It's Easter Monday. So you must have been sick of chocolate by now. Definitely, maybe. I don't want to know how much chocolate you've been eating. Okay, and last but not least, it is obviously knees to elbows. Okay. Conicini. No. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. So remember, you want to twist that knee. Who knew that <laughs> I'd be doing this? on my YouTube channel, just for you guys to watch. Hopefully it's motivating you. This was the orange top that I wore when I did my half a marathon last year. And there we go. Right, it is as simple as that. What do you do? For your daily exercise, uh, do you go out walking, running? Um, are you trying to beat your own personal best? Do you get tired from doing easy exercising? Uh, whatever you do, uh, let me know either on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and tag me, Scoutadelic, and don't forget to use your hashtag ScoutingAsHome. It's as simple as that. But here is an amazing scout who's going to give you something positive for your day. Hi, it's my turn, weirdly enough, to do a positive uh, thought for the day. Um, just to let you know, you can have a blip. You can have a bad day, all right? Considering what we're going through, don't worry about it, okay? Think about it as a roller coaster. And, you know, I hate to quote Ronan Keaton here, but you just got to ride it. You're going to have some lows, you're going to have some highs, you're going to have some middle grounds. Just reach out to people if you need it, and I'm there for you. That's what I'm doing, obviously, daily videos. Um, even I have my blips. So just stay strong, know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, it is going to get better and my love for you. If you like that challenge, then share it with your friends, give the video a like and subscribe because the whole of April, we've got something different just for you. And also, if this challenge does represent any badge work, then it's in the description bar. So you might have actually done some badge work, which you can then show one of your leaders, whether you're doing it online or when you do get back to normality, whenever that is. So enjoy and I'll see you tomorrow.